And now let's talk about slice and substring. So these two methods here extract a section of a string and return it as a new string. So they don't change the original string. The syntax is simple. The first parameter for slice is index start and the same thing for substring. The first parameter is also the index start. So the index start is the position from where you want to start taking a slice from your original string. Let's see some examples. So I have here a string, the morning is up and us, and I'm going to assign this to a const s. And the string length here is 23. Now I'm going to separate each character and then give them their associate indexes from uh, left to right and from the end also. So these are the associate uh, indexes from the end. Now, if I go and call slice on my string s and then I'm going to choose random index, for example, 12. So slice will go now and take a slice starting from 12 to the end of this string. So 12 here is included. So we're going to see is upon us as the resulting string. Now, the same thing for substring is going to do the same thing. So it's going to start from 12, 12 included to the end of the string and it's going to return the same result. Now, let's go and see some example where we're passing a negative number for the index start. For slice, it's going to go and count from the end. So minus 11. So it's going to start again from here. It's like starting from 12 to the end of the string. So it's going to return exactly the same result as before. But for substring, when the index start is a negative number, it behaves like it's zero. So any negative number is like zero for substring. So it's going to start now from zero to the end of the string. So we're going to get the whole string. So that's the first difference between slice and substring. And now if I pass in the length of the string 23 here, then an empty string is going to be returned by slice. And the same thing is going to be returned by substring when it takes in the length as the start index. And now let's go and talk about the second parameter for slice, which is the index end. The same thing for substring, it also takes in a second parameter, which is index end. So now you can choose the index start and the index end of the section you want to extract from your original string. Let's see an example here. So I'm going to pass 13 and 16 random indexes. So slice here will go and start from 13. 13 is included, but 16, the index end is not included. So I will get just S, the space and U. And now for the substring, it's going to be the same thing. So it's going to start at 13, but it's not going to include 16. So we're going to get the same result. Now, if I go and swap these two indexes, uh, so I give 16 for the index start and 13 for the index end. So for slice here, it's going to return an empty string. But for the substring here, if the index start is greater than the index end, it's going to swap them. So it's going to start from 13 and end at 16. So we're going to get the same result as before. So that's the second difference between slice and substring. And now if I go and use minus eight as the index start and minus four as the index end, so slice will go backward and start from minus eight and then stop uh, at minus five. So minus four is not included. So I'm going to get up on for the resulting string. Now for the substring, if I gave minus eight as the index start and minus four as the index end, Remember, substring doesn't take in negative numbers, so this will be zero, and this also will be zero. So it's going to start at zero and end at zero, which means it's going to return an empty string. Now, if I use a negative number for index start and a positive number for index end, now slice will go and start from minus eight, but four is before minus eight, so it's going to return an empty string. But for the substring here, if I give it a negative number for the index start and four, now here it's going to be zero till four. So it's going to start at zero and then end at three, four is not included. So we're going to get there and then the space. 
And now if I call slice with a positive number for uh, the index start and a negative number for the index end, so it's gonna go and start at eight. So eight is included, but minus four is not included. So we're gonna get ing is upon. So that's the resulting string. But for the substring here, so eight, then minus four. So minus four is gonna be zero. So now it's gonna start at eight and then end at zero. And because eight is greater than zero, it's gonna swap the two indexes. So it's gonna start at zero and end at eight. So zero, then eight, eight is not included. Always the index end is not included. So we're gonna get the space more. And that's how slice and substring methods work. So now let's go and move on to the next one.